who joins us this morning from his district in Clute, Texas. Uh, Congressman, you made a long flight to be with us this morning from your home state. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Good to be with you. I, I want to ask you something. Uh, you came very, very close to beating Mitt Romney in Maine uh, yesterday. Our estimate is he's going to get eight delegates uh, there. You're going to get seven. But I know this is one that uh, you really wanted to win. Where do you go now? Well, you know, our numbers on the delegates are much different because the process has only started and we're in a very good position to win a good majority of those votes. But, you know, we were a little bit disappointed last night, but we were disappointed that the one county where we have done the best in the past and we were expected to do the best, the best <laughs> they canceled their caucus. So uh, we, we did very well up there, but we're going to con continue to do what we do and do the very best and keep accumulating delegates. Well, what do you see as your path now? Uh, do you really think you can get the nomination or are you just there to get enough delegates to be a force at the convention? Sure. <laughs> I think both. We're there to win, do our best. Uh, you know, uh, Romney's been up and down. The other's been up and down. And uh, I haven't been uh, down. I keep going up. I don't really go up and down. And our numbers grow. And once they join our campaign, anybody join our campaign, become solid supporters. And who knows what's going to happen. We live in an age where things change rather rapidly politically and economically. And certainly in foreign policies, things change. So this whole ball game can change rather rapidly. Let me just ask you something. Um, People may disagree with you, but I don't know anyone, including me, uh, who doubts your sincerity or who doesn't believe that you believe what you're saying. Having said that, why do you think Mitt Romney is having so much trouble convincing people that he is a conservative? Well, I don't know exactly why, because uh, I think that if it comes to uh, Gingrich or Santorum, they should suffer the same consequences. Maybe it's the type of coverage and, and the image, but I don't think uh, they have been vetted very well because I know them pretty well and their record, uh, their records are far from being conservative. But Mitt has been a governor and he's taken these positions, uh, but uh, I think that all of them are rather typical of what's wrong with the country, you know, that they, that they don't have firm convictions. And, uh, of course, they've been rewarded. Many people are rewarded for saying, well, don't be overly rigid. Well, they're very rigid in flip-flopping. Well, I might be so-called rigid in defending the Constitution, but in the past that was seen to be a negative because we weren't in much trouble. We were very wealthy and nobody worried too much about it. But now we're broke, and, and now uh, what I'm talking about has much greater appeal to the large number of people in the country today. So you're saying what uh, uh, Governor Romney's problem with conservatives is that in fact he is not a conservative. Well, I think he's conservative in some ways, but I think he's uh, every bit as conservative as the other two. That's my point. You know, I don't think he's less conservative. I think if uh, if the country only has the choice of those three individuals, they have to look for the person who might be, uh, you know, more willing to look at uh, even more conservative ideas. I mean, if you are overly rigid uh, as an interventionist as far as foreign policy and economic policy goes, uh, they may well be worse than the person who says, well, you know, I was more liberal when I was a, government, a governor, but now I'm more conservative because I have to represent more conservatives. But I think the problem is, is that uh, uh, all three of them have represented the same system, the same status quo, and not wanting changes in the foreign policy. They don't, none of them talk about real spending cuts. None of them talk about real changes in monetary policy. So uh, they're, they're not a whole lot different. So I think it's Boy, when it comes down to those three, it's probably going to be management style more than anything else. Well, uh, uh, talking about his uh, governorship, uh, Governor Romney told the uh, CPAC convention here in Washington that he was, uh, the word he used was a severe conservative. Uh, now, I know about liberal Republicans and conservative Republicans and libertarian cons uh, Republicans, but I never heard of a severe uh, Republican what, or a severe conservative. What, what is that? Do you know? Well, I think I share your uh, interest in that because that was the first time I've heard that definition. So I guess Mitt will have to tell us exactly what he means. Obviously, he means he's, he's a serious uh, uh, conservative and he was trying to defend himself or portray himself as such. But I don't know uh, uh, exactly what he was meaning by that. 
There, there seems to be kind of a lack of enthusiasm uh, this year. I mean, your people, uh, I, I'll, give you, I'll give you your due. Uh, your people come out and they seem committed to you, but I don't see that kind of enthusiasm elsewhere uh, in this field. Why, why do you think that is? Well, I don't think uh, the other candidates are offering a lot, a lot of change. I think one of the dis most disturbing things, well, a couple of things the Republicans ought to be disturbed about, that they do not, uh, other than myself, they're not appealing to young people. And another thing was that 20 percent of Republicans now are considering that they might, you know, either just stay at home or vote for Obama. And they are staying home from the primaries, so that means they're not offering, uh, you know, a, a real alternative. I think when people hear my message, they get excited about it because, you know, it makes sense. You know, yeah, a lot of people come up and say, you know, what you're saying just makes common sense. Uh, you know, why do we keep getting involved in these wars? What's this idea that you? need money, you just print it. You know, it, it seems so logical, and yet it's been ingrained in our system for nearly 100 years. Well, if you need money, spend it, just print it, and everything is going to be all right, and deficits don't matter. Conservatives and liberals have taught for decades that deficits don't matter. That's what, that, it's come out of both parties. But young people especially seem to, uh, you, you know, get away from those cliches and say, well, we want to hear some common sense, and we want to have somebody who believes in something that will obey the Constitution, and that's what I find excites uh, so many people. Do you think, uh, not knowing yet who the uh, Republican nominee is going to be, do you think the Republicans can actually beat uh, President Obama this fall? Oh, sure, they can, but I still think it's up for grabs. If they think, you know, six months ago they thought, uh, well, any Republican could beat him. You know, I don't, th I don't think that's the case. I think, you know, the incumbent has big advantages. They have control of, uh, uh, you know, they have the bully pulpit. They can, uh, they can do so much. And, uh, and, and Obama's going to raise a ton of money. You know, one, one time he was bragging that he was going to raise a billion dollars, but now he's going with the super PACs. So money does talk, and uh, he has the attention. So any Republican who thinks it's a, a shoe-in uh, should have another thought coming. Well, let me just ask you this quickly, because i got to wind this up. Do you think Mitt Romney, if he's the nominee, can beat Barack Obama? Yeah, I do. I do. I think I could beat him, too. And I think I have a, I have appeal to some of those Democrats that he doesn't have because, you know, I don't know if anybody noticed, but there was a uh, Democratic primary in New Hampshire that had, I think, close to 3,000 write-ins of Democrats. So, yes, he, he can beat Obama, but I think you also need some of that appeals to Democrats and independents. And if people look carefully at what I'm talking about, they'll find out that uh, my message does have an appeal across the political All right. spectrum. Well, we thank you very much for being with us this morning. Thank you so much, Congressman. They